how to write the data from SGTM to BigQuery. So it's relatively simple. Uh, with tape, what you need to do is uh, connect your uh, GCP service account to the tape and then just use a tag um, that is designed to write data from SGTM to BigQuery. So let's get started and I will show you the step-by-step -step guide. Um, the first thing that you need to do is go to your Google Cloud account then select here um, service account and we will need to create a new service account or maybe you can update uh, if you already have the existing service account you can update uh, the existing service account with a new permission i will show you which type of permission is required uh, just type here name click create and continue and here you need to select a role so in my case i will select a bigquery admin basically because this service account need access to write data to bigquery and uh, click just continue and then done uh, now we need to find this uh, recently created service account and click here keys add key create a new select json and click create uh, the second step is go to your state uh, sgtm container and enable google service account power up and select the json file that you recently download it from uh, Google Cloud. Click Save. Perfect. Uh, now we can go to the SGTM container. Uh, Stape does not have, like, we did not create it our own uh, template for to, that writes data to BigQuery. Uh, so we are using one of the existing templates and uh, I can show you the which we are normally using for our clients. So basically this one, it uh, the name of the template is write to BigQuery. So it's already added in my server, server Google Tag Manager container, but uh, yeah, just search it in the template gallery and add it to your SGTM. Uh, now let's create a tag. So I already have it created, but uh, the configuration of uh, the tag is uh, extremely simple. Uh, so the first requirement of this tag is that uh, you need to uh, create a table uh, in advance in your BigQuery. So um, like this is the first thing that you need to specify is a stable uh, ID string. And to find it, you need to go to your uh, Google Cloud uh, account again and uh, and then just go here to BigQuery and uh, here ensure that you have created a table. So um, as you can see in the tag description, uh, it should like the table ID string should start with project ID, then data set ID, then table name. So in my case, it looks like this. So the name of the table is state video uh, that is inside uh, SGTM and it lies inside this uh, main um, uh, main project. So just ensure that you've created a, a table in advance. So just uh, um, like if you need to create a new table, just click three dots here and click create a table. So um, the second thing uh, that you need to do to be able to write data from SGTM to BigQuery is basically um, create a schema uh, for the table. So as you can see here, I already have my schema uh, predefined. Um, so if you, for example, select uh, to write all event data uh, using this tag, it means that tag like uh, it, it won't be possible for tag to write all the data it has in the event uh, data unless uh, the schema of your uh, table in BigQuery is predefined. So um, it's basically pretty simple. Uh, just click a new uh, field and then you need to select a field name and type. So the field name 
should match your either event, uh, the name of the event data field inside your SGTM, or uh, if you select to write only a custom data, uh, then you need to like add here a uh, field name, uh, which should be again matched with the field name inside your BigQuery uh, table. Okay, I won't add a new fields now, and uh, um, so uh, I will select an option add all event data, and it means that um, the tag will add uh, all event data that uh, exists in the BigQuery table. Um, then just you can add here uh, event timestamp, and uh, I've selected a trigger that equals uh, to uh, add to cart event, which are triggered by data client. So let me click save, refresh web and server Google Tag Manager previews, and uh, we will see if the tag works correctly. So we need to go to SGTM preview. And this is set to cart event uh, that claimed by data client. And this is our tag that triggered right to BigQuery. So it succeeded and let's go to BigQuery and see what we have inside the table. Um, let's go back to the SGTM and let's see what uh, data we have. So we inside the table, we have client ID, item ID and item price. So, uh, data client ID for this uh, for this event is this one. Yeah, and you can see that it was like successfully added to the BigQuery. Then we have item ID 82. And let's see, item ID 82. Yeah, so, and the price and the item quantity. So, yeah, as you can see, um, tag, uh, wrote correctly data that we have inside the event data. So basically there are numerous reasons why you can use uh, why you want to use BigQuery. Uh, as we already discussed, Stape has an alternative uh, way to store data. It, it called Stape Store and we already have a video about Stape Store, Stape Store and I will add the link to the video description in the comments. Um, price for Stape Store is included in the subscription uh, packages. Uh, while if you use BigQuery, you will run additional costs. So basically you will pay not only for SGTM hosting itself for uh, in GCP, but you will add, there will be added some additional fees on top of your uh, SGTM container hosting for the BigQuery and numbers can like equal or even double the SGTM hosting price. And it depends on how many data you process inside the BigQuery. Um, so this is it. Um, Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.